Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be sharing with you... Of the dead. In case you're wondering, no, I didn't add that terrible audio in there for some sort of comedic effect. It just sort of sounds that bad. And for some reason, when you press enter, it plays it again. You know, in case you missed it the first time. Of the dead. Anyway, uh, the Typing of the Dead is some bizarre port from some Dreamcast game, which was a port from, I think, a PlayStation game, which I think was a port from some arcade game, or something. You play the game like a shooter on rails, except instead of shooting at things with a gun, you type words at them, and they just sort of die. The premise seems kind of silly, but when you actually get into it, the game is kind of fun. I guess if you find typing fun. It's split up into six different stages, each of them lasting about ten minutes. That makes the game last about an hour from start to finish. But, to be honest, that's fine for this game, because there are only so many ways you can type random words at zombies before it starts to get really boring. Oh, did I mention that all of the voice acting is absolutely atrocious? Yeah, throughout each level there are people being attacked, uh, some bosses, and you and your team Please that all have dialogue. Me. The voice acting is all bad. All of it. How could anyone do this? Gee! James. I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. James, take this. I've played through this twice, but the plot still doesn't make any sense to me. As far as I can tell, this Goldman guy, who by the way sounds like a slightly more articulate Microsoft Sam, made all these zombies because he's a big dick. You're just some guy from this AMS thing who carries a Dreamcast on your back with a keyboard attached to it. You know, for quelling the random zombie outbreaks. That Goldman guy sends random bosses to kill you, like this one, who just chases you randomly in circles with a chainsaw while you type sentences at his face. They try to create this sense of mystery with this Goldman guy by showing him in a dark room at the beginning of each level, spouting some random dialogue, but nothing he says makes any sense. Dogs of the AMS. Time they made a move. Everything's set. All we need to do is wait. You've come. Friends. The door of fate shall open. I've been waiting for you, friends. Goldman! Do you know what you're doing? I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? Man committed a sin, disturbing the life cycle of nature, the original sin that man is responsible to, to protect the life cycle. I have made a creature to rule over mankind. Near the end of the game, it starts to get really difficult. They start using these odd techno-zombie things, and all the boss battles look like the last bosses on JRPGs. This final boss here has little sequences from all the bosses before it, like having to answer a question or having to deal with three typing box things at a time. Except this one makes you type a sentence for pretty much everything. Once the last boss is dead, the game is over. You can go back and do some typing challenges if you want, but there's really not a point once you finish the game. In time, a successor will come. Farewell, friends. So that's the Typing of the Dead. If you ever see this in a bargain bin somewhere, you must buy it. Just so you can call your friends over to see this stupid game that you paid way too much for.